Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NETCore and today I'm going to show you a simple uh, cross origin request in ASP.NET Core. So just let's change the color of the pane. So uh, let's get started. Uh, you know that a page we uh, have on a hosting on the A and the page have an hosting uh, on the page B. You let's see in the uh, demonstrations. So a page um, that is on the another hosting and the request to the another hosting that exists on the page B. So let's get a start. Uh, let's to understand a browser security prevents a web page located on a domain to make request to web page which is located on a different domain. This restriction is called the same origin policy and that error you got when you got the page uh, from the A to B that is no access control allow origin header is prevent on the request resource okay so how does the core works actually uh, you can say when uh, once a website enables cores the new http headers are introduced which enables cross origin request this http headers are automatically set for the cross origin request one implements http header is called access control allow reason so when an external page or the resource make request to a resource like a page or file or etc on another server or domain then the server responds with a value for the access control allow reason header so let's get started how to enable course in asp.net core projects so this is the page and uh, if you want to enable the AS, uh, course in ESP.NET Core, so for just of all open package manager console and in which uh, uh, project you can install install package and uh, that package name is uh, microsoft.aspnetcore.cores microsoft.aspnetcore.cores okay so uh, after installing that package and uh, you can see that uh, by using package manager console also uh, you can see in the package manager console just going to the package manage course there is microsoft.aspnetcore.course package there is already installed there are check marks check marks how to register course package in a startup.cs file so just open it that file and uh, add in the configure service method you can see that there is the configure and that configure service method in which you add services dot add course services dot add course okay now also you have to enable a course using middleware and uh, how to enable middleware uh, by using this uh, that is the endpoints we are have the static files here there is and you have to enable app dot use course there is use course and you have to uh, options and uh, you have to options dot there is the allow credentials not uh, dot allow any origins allow any origins there is the method okay and the next one is allow any methods allow any method and the next one is allow any header allow any header there's the three method to you have to allow uh, by e using the course there is the first method options dot allow reasons any methods and any headers okay so there is okay so uh, by using the middleware you have to set these options okay so allow any methods to allow all http methods 
allow any header means I'll uh, to allow all request headers and allow credentials also we have a the server must allow the credentials okay so uh, if you want to enable course for the request made from one domain only and then change the above code by using only one domain so just you can uh, with origins allow any origins uh, it's replaced with the with origins allow with origins you have to say with origins and with origins you have to specify the domain information okay so there is the domain information you have to provide it and uh, allow any methods allow any header and allow any credentials so uh, there is the if you want to more than one domain so just uh, specify with the comma so there is with origins okay and apply course policies per uh, actions and the per controller also you have to specify it and uh, if you want to apply uh, core policies per action per controller define one or more named course policies and select the policies by the name at runtime so uh, you have to specify the core policies in the configure service method you have to configure configure it so services dot add course we have a options and you have to specify it here like uh, options dot add policy and in the policy that is my policy and and uh, you have to uh, there is the oops options okay uh, make an another variable name there is that policy and uh, a is the name of a dot uh, with origins and uh, here you have to specify the policy for the one domain only domain info okay only the one domain you have to access that policy okay so specify the domain information at here okay so app dot use course app dot uh, use course uh, like that app dot use course and in which you have to specify your my policy okay there is uh, for that single domain you have to uh, apply for that use course add policies okay and uh, you have to controller level also you have to set that policies like that uh, oops enable course that is my policy you have to resolve by using attribute uh, that is so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net course